Good morning, everyone. Here I am again with another video. I want to show you how to make potato bakes. And if this sounds interesting, then keep watching. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Go right ahead and hit that subscribe button. And also check the description box below. You will get the full details listed in there and how to make these bakes. So this is a dough that is filled with savory, well-seasoned mashed potatoes and then deep fried. So let's get right over to the ingredients. I have some flour, warm water, some brown sugar. I also have some yeast and baking powder, butter, some extra flour for dusting. Over here I also have some black pepper, potatoes, one large onion, I also have some paprika and garlic powder and some salt and guys feel free to add any kind of seasonings into your potato mixture all right you know with what is going on you cannot get a store you cannot leave the home so that's all right I'm just showing you that you can use minimal ingredients and still come out with a good flavor so I'm going to add my dry ingredients together like my salt sugar baking powder yeast and combine them well Once this is done, I'm going to add the butter and just mix it in well. Now I'll gradually add the warm water and mix again well. Now I'm going to add the hand technique which is mashing this flour until it is smooth and nice. You want to do this until it forms a nice dough ball. Cover and set aside. At this time I'm starting with the potatoes, peel them, cut them into some squares and just wash them just like this remove any dark spots and then place them into a pot with some water and some salt turn the fire on under the pot and let this come to a boil making sure that it is soft and nice So now the potatoes are soft. I did use the skewer here just to make sure I test them. Now I'm going to remove them and place them into a dish. Now the potatoes are hot and you want to use a potato masher to mash these potatoes guys. Don't wait until they're cool. Mash, mash, mash. When this is done here, I'm going to add some butter just so that I can get a nice soft and fluffy textured potato. Feel free to add some milk and whatever you want into your potato. Now I'm adding some chives and some chopped onions along with some salt, some paprika and garlic powder and you can't forget that black pepper. Another great taste to this recipe guys are some cumin seeds. 
mash it well, making sure that everything is well combined. You want to taste as you go, making sure you set that aside now over a lightly floured surface. Here I'm adding my pliable dough. I just love to watch how my dough falls onto my work surface. Now it's time to divide the dough into little pieces. So make these little pieces into the best of your ability. I'm accustomed doing this guys so I'm averaging and you can rest assured that when I'm done all of my bakes are gonna have the same size so feel free to weigh your dough just so that you would get the same size of bakes when you're done roll them into nice little dough like this here and just place them onto the counter cover them let them sit for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, it's time for filling. So you do not want to use a rolling pin. You want to use your fingers to press the dough flat open. And you don't want to also make it too thin or too wide because it would be more difficult to manage that way. So place the seasoned potato, mashed potatoes into your dough just like so and just pinch the edges together making sure that it is all sealed. Once you do it like this, you know you got a good sealed dough. Make them into some balls like this, place them onto the surface. And at this time, I do have a pan with oil over medium heat and leave it there to hot just so that I can fry my bakes. So this is what you're gonna do. Press from the middle, right towards the end of the dough in this way the mashed potatoes in there is gonna spread right through to the end at this time you want to gently place the dough into your pot with hot oil I am doing two at a time and you do this if the pot is big enough so you want to keep pouring the oil over the dough to help with the cooking process When they are golden brown, flip them to cook over on the other side and then remove them from the oil. Continue to do the same until they are all done. Here I'm using a spatula to help to turn the bake because you do not want the hot oil to splash up and burn yourself, okay? So at this point in time, you have to be extremely careful, especially when you're working with a lot of oil.
my bakes are all done I just love the golden color on the bakes and yes guys if you're after some substantial comfort food on a budget then these potato alu bakes are for you so go right ahead give them a try leave me a comment let me know how it turned out and enjoy I will see you in my next video bye